All right, it's time to open up the P.O. Box panel that I got in May. Let's see what you guys sent in. First up, here is a postcard. Uh, it looks like, is this from uh, Japan? Oh, looks, this is cool. Uh, some sumo wrestlers on the back. Konnichiwa from Japan, Sung One. I love all of your content. Your videos are so on point. When you posted your address, I knew I had to send you something. From a big fan, Yuki. Thank you, Yuki. And hey, this postcard is pretty sweet. So thank you very much. Here's a letter from Tiffany from California. Good afternoon, Pro CD. Are you a fan of voiceover actress slash singer Susan Egan? I am, I think she's very talented. What are two shows on TV that you didn't want to watch but you did after looking at clips from them? Um, I don't know if I did that with any TV shows, but uh, I kind of did that with One Piece back in the day. I like kind of looked up some spoilers and that got me interested in it. So I'd say that counts. Uh, do you read any comic books? I, not currently, I read manga, which is Japanese comics, so uh, right now I'm reading like Vinland Saga, uh, Delicious in Dungeon, um, One Punch Man, a bunch of titles like that. Was it hard for you to voice a newscaster, pageant kid, and Larry for the new animated series Tuka and Birdie? Uh, no, I uh, didn't have a hard time at all. I It was very fun and uh, the voices were pretty, you know, I, I they were comfortable within my range, so I didn't have any difficulty, but I had a great time. Uh, voicing for that show. All right, thank you very much, Tiffany. And then some fan art of me and Balloon Cat. Thank you very much. Here's a letter from Mikhail from Alaska. Dear Sung One, have you seen the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer? And if so, what were your thoughts on it? I have, I think it looks disastrous. Also, what is the hardest voice that is impossible to imitate? From Mikhail. P.S. I just finished my uh, finals for college for the year. Congratulations. Hardest voice to imitate? The hardest voices to imitate for me are like ones that are just kind of normal sounding, like George Clooney. Like, he has a distinctive voice, but it's kind of hard to do that. Like, what people with very strange or interesting voices, you can kind of imitate, but it's hard to do like Matt Damon. Like, how do you do a Matt Damon impression? You just sound like a guy. So, I think those are kind of tricky to imitate. Here's a letter from Taya from, looks like California. Hey, it's a picture of Naruto. Look at that boy. And Kakashi. Very cool. Dear Sung One, I recently started a new job at my old high school. I work in the library, which is pretty boring, but they have the whole Naruto series. I've heard of Naruto, but I've never watched or read any of it, and now I am a total fan. My boyfriend showed me your YouTube channel about two years ago, and I love your content. It always makes me laugh and keeps me entertained. I got so bored yesterday that I decided to try drawing Naruto, and now keep in mind I am no artist, and today I drew Kakashi. I was trying to figure out what to do with them, so I decided to send them to you. Keep doing what you love to do, because we all love it too. A great fan, Taya. P.S. I didn't have the right colors when I drew these. Well, they turned out great. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's cool that you kind of discovered Naruto, and thank you very much for the drawings. They're super neat. Thank you very much. Here's a letter from Swan from Texas. Sung One, I've been a fan of your videos since the beginning of Vine. I follow you everywhere. You're so awesome. As a token to you and hilarious videos, accept this drawing of Manat from Street Fighter V. Hey, that's pretty cool. Also, this Tenya Ida sticker. Hey, look at that guy. Hope you're doing good. Swan. P.S. Swan is pronounced as swan like the bird. The H is silent. Well, I'm glad I nailed it on the first try. Thank you very much, Swan. The sticker is cute and the drawing is really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy my stuff. Thank you very much. Here's a letter from Dylan from Alabama. It is a class of 2019 graduate. Congratulations, Dylan. It's a big deal. Good job, Dylan. Here's a letter from Sabrina and Hammer from California. You both are too fabulous for words. I know, but thank you. Hi, and Marie and Sung One. My husband and I just wanted to tell, uh, write to tell you how awesome you all are. I just saw Sung Won's tweet with your P.O. box and I'm choosing to procrastinate on chores by writing this. We love your tweets about Selfie and Effie. Attached are pictures of our three cats. Uh, Jonesy from Alien, Salem from Sabrina, and Bijou from Antaro. Oh, look at these cute little kitties. Oh, oh, and Salem looks just like Effie. But all three are very cute. Anne-Marie, your cat comics are super adorable and relatable. Also, your tweets about being nervous slash having anxiety during board games is how I always feel too. My Fitbit heart rate always goes up and somehow I'm repeatedly werewolf for a fascist? I try saving Sung Won's board game wrecks when I see them on Twitter. I love- I have an ongoing list on my phone to add to our collection right now. We just finished beating the four vanilla Aeons and Boss. Ooh, I love that game. Oh man, and I've, I've been playing that game a lot lately. Uh, that was super fun. And of course we love your videos, Sung Won. Just saw your Terrace House one. Love Wagon Asian Journey is a good watch on Netflix if you're done with Terrace House. I think y'all could like it, or would like it. It starts slow, but it's super cute. Sending love to y'all from San Diego. Appreciate the content y'all put out. 
Hope you all and your cat be, uh, BBs have an awesome day. Love, Sabrina, and Hammer. Uh, sorry about my handwriting. Your handwriting is actually quite nice. Uh, oh, and there's the... The, look, oh, look at the kitties again. Oh, so sweet. And Salem is here, but Salem is in, shrouded in black. Um, oh, thank you very much, YouTube. Um, I'm glad you enjoy the videos, and uh, cool to hear people playing Aeon's End. I love Aeon's End a lot. Uh, and if you, I, I would recommend the expansions as well. They're quite good, but they get really, really hard. But... Thank you very much for the letter. Super nice. Here's a letter from Mickey from Arizona. Little Babushka Doggo wishes you the best. Hello, Sung One. Uh, please forgive the very tiny paper. It is the only line paper I have here at this time. I'm a fresh new fan of your work and look forward to binging everything you have to offer on both your main and Let's Play channel. Uh, by the way, the Let's Play, the Let's Play channel, press buttons and talk. Check it out in the description. Press buttons and talk. Uh, unlike a lot of your longtime fans, I came to really enjoy your content after finding out you voiced my favorite character in Monster Prom, Brian Yu. I know you only have a few lines slash sound effects in the game, but it was enough for me to be like, huh, he sounds familiar, and look you up. I wasn't someone that got into the Vine craze, so I wasn't able to see you at your humble beginnings, but I hope to make up for it now. I have seen a bunch of your skits and adore your brand of comedy. I'm currently watching all of your P.O. Box openings and hope to start watching your Ace Attorney series, along with Ham Ham Heartbreak, which I grew up with. I have never seen any gameplay on Ace and haven't played any of the games, so I'm pleased to, uh, you love them enough to have Let's Plays on them. I heard you guys are interested in playing Dong and Rampa also. That is one of my favorite franchises. It's a bit all over the place, but I hope you guys grow to love some of the characters. I love the cast of the second game. It's hard to dislike a lot of them. I don't have a lot of favorite animes in common with you, but when I heard you enjoyed Death Parade, I was over the moon. I hardly can find people that love that masterpiece. But I wish I had series I enjoyed in common with you to gift you stickies, or stickers, <laughs> stickies, stickers you would like. I've included a handful of my favorite Dongan cuties from the second game along with a meme sticker of Monokuma from the game. I've also added Brian and Damien from Monster Prom, the Cuphead Bros, and Sans and Papyrus from Undertale. I drew all of these with my happy little hands. I also added Sailor Jupiter since you mentioned she is one of, if not the best, Sailor Scout, and I totally agree. Thank you so much for having your P.O. Box open to hear from your fans. It's beyond rad. I hope to see even more of your content, both older and new in the future. You and your wonderful family take care. Mickey. Thank you very much, Mickey. Uh, let's take a look inside here. If you want to check out Mickey's art, they're Junjo Monsta. J-U-N-J-O-M-O-N-S-T-A-H. And uh, let's take a look. We got the Cuphead Bros. That's super cute. We got... Old Sans Undertale, some Monster Prom Boys, including my guy, some Dongus Ronguses, you got Papyrus, just a classic Sailor Jupiter sticker, and some more Dongus Ronguses. Look at all of them. Look at these friends. And a Monokuma. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. Classic Monokuma. Well, thank you very much, Mickey. Um, I'm glad you enjoy my work, um, and thank you very much for the stickers. They're super cool, uh, and I, your art's great, so I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Here's a package from New York for press buttons and talk. It's Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, which I, I've never played any Spyro games. Uh, I'm curious to see what this one is like, uh, but I don't know who sent this. So if you sent this, let me know and I will thank you. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we'll have to play this on the channel at some point. Enter the Dragonfly. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you, mystery person. Here's another package. Hey, it's us, the Press Buttons and Talk gang. Hey, Alex and Sung One and Anne Marie. I'm really enjoying watching Press Buttons and Talk. You guys are my absolute favorite Let's Players. Uh, this game is one of my favorite underrated games. It's Zack and Wiki. Uh, it's got lots of wacky characters, silly humor, and interesting puzzles. So I hope you try it and have fun with it. Thanks, Piper. P.S. You should be very, very stingy with using your platinum tickets in this game. You'll thank me later. Well, thank you very much, Piper. Uh, the cool, thank you for the cool drawing. I'll be sure to uh, bring this on to press buttons and talk, and they'll get to take a look at the picture too. Uh, but thank you very much for the game. Really appreciate it. Uh, I've played this once before, but it's been a long time since I've played it. So thanks for the game. Here's a package from Rob from New York. Dear Alex and Marie and Sung One. First things first. Uh, knowing me and how much I get caught up in writing about stuff, I like this. I like, this will probably get pretty long-winded, so apologies in advance if it's too much. That said, thank you so much for making PBNT. I've never not enjoyed an episode. I've been watching since late September and have seen all your videos except Trials and Tribulations, which I haven't played yet. My favorite playthroughs are Wheel of Fortune, Family Feud, and Smarty Pants. 
I play all those games with my family, semi-regularly, so it was cool to see you guys enjoy them as well. I fucking died at the, uh, funny shirt stories and bagel toppings episodes. This is slightly embarrassing, but you shouldn't feel bad if you don't get the answer. My last name is Ricotta, that's pretty cool, and I didn't even get the Ricotta cheese puzzle. Feels bad, man. I wanted to write in for a while now, I actually wrote the bulk of this letter back in early February. Turns out shyness and laziness really, uh, kill the productivity on this kind of stuff. I probably wouldn't have even sent this in if I hadn't recently heard the adage, better is the enemy of good enough. Regardless, I'm glad I'm finally sending this in. I truly love your riffs, uh, banter, and the plethora of characters you guys t uh, take. Uh, it's really a testament to your skills as improv artists. Back in college, I was the president of my school's improv comedy club for a while and was responsible for teaching both newcomers and veterans how to do improv for a couple years. Because of that, I feel like I at least have a decent amount of authority when I say that you are really talented. Well, thank you. I'm proud to say that I'm a patron of yours and was fortunate enough to watch through all of your old bonus videos. I really enjoyed them all. The best was definitely Alex reading what his 17-year-old self's perfect woman was like. That shit was comedy gold. It's a shame those videos didn't get more views. Also, shoutouts to my buds in your Discord. They're a really cool bunch of people. Yeah, uh, Press Buttons and Talk, our Let's Play channel has a Patreon. You can support it. And there's a Discord and... Yeah, it's cool. I know I've already said it, but I really want to thank you guys for making your videos. I started watching around the same time I had to drop out of my senior year of college on medical leave due to a chronic illness. That was a really tough time for me, and I still deal with it and its ramifications every day. Even though I'm naturally pretty optimistic, my positive demeanor was definitely challenged. PB&T honestly helped me stay happy this whole time, and for that, you have my gratitude. Uh, here's the part where I'll break down the letter by individual. So I'll, I'll, I won't read these. Uh, they're for specific people. But I'll read my section. And I'll also, we'll be rereading this on the channel as well. Uh, to Sung One, what can I say, man? You are one funny dude. I find your attitude of not really caring what your audience thinks and therefore making videos for yourself really refreshing. I think it makes for much more authentic entertainment. It was especially noticeable in Pros D Plus Pals, which was great, by the way, and gave it a lot of charm. I really got to thank you for all your anime recommendations, too. I watched Shirobako, Mob Psycho 100, Nozaki-kun, Silver Spoon, and Shia Furu. Damn, that's a good selection. Thanks to you, and they were all fan-fucking-tastic. Shihaya Furu and Silver Spoon were definitely the best of the bunch and are easily in my top five anime. Slice of Life is my favorite genre. Nice. I keep trying to recommend Shihaya Furu to my friends, but nobody seems to want to watch it. That skit of yours where the dude falls asleep after hearing about it is basically my entire life now. Anyway, I could talk about that show until the sun comes up, so I guess I'll leave it there and just say that I want you to uh, know your recommendations don't fall on deaf ears. I also enjoy your board game reviews, and I'm glad you added that kind of thing to your channel. Your vlogs and skits always put a smile on my face, so thanks again for doing what you do. I included a handful of games for you guys. I figure a few of them will be good for one-off videos, but the grand prize is inside the wooden box. Ooh. And that's about it, guys. I hope you continue to enjoy making videos, because I sure enjoy watching them. Wishing you the best. Uh, Rob Ricotta, and that's at Buster slash Klondike. Thank you very much, Rob. I'm sorry to hear about your illness. Uh, I hope you're doing better, at least. Uh, and I'm glad that we could help you out during a tough time. Uh, this is a super nice letter. I'm very excited to see what's in here. And uh, like I said before, uh, we'll definitely be opening this and reading the letters on Press Buttons and Talk as well, uh, so that they can read their segments. First off, we have Disney's Tarzan on N64. Oh man, I bet that's gonna be good. Ooh, we have... Oh my god, Rugrats Castle Capers and Britney's Dance Beat on Game Boy Advance. Those are gonna be gems. Ooh, a Fulton's Crab House Breakfast with Captain Mickey pin. I'm sure this is for Anne Marie, but she'll, which I'm sure she'll appreciate. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Shrek Treasure Hunt. Oh my god, these are, this is just full of gems. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Did someone send this to us? I don't remember. Anyway, we have it now. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and Scribblenauts Unlimited. Wow. Uh, that is quite a collection. And, uh, ooh. Here's the wooden box. Uh, ooh, I'm actually kind of, uh... How the hell do you open this, actually? It's like a puzzle box. So this turned out to be a real fucking mind-bender of a box. Uh, turns out it's a puzzle box. Long story short, essentially, I already kind of solved it, uh, by cheating. Um, but... The ends of this were like this, and then you like took this piece off, like that, and then this part comes out, like a fucking trick, and then, here we go, you push this, oh shit, you push this out, and it's 
Wario Land 4. So, damn. Uh, now I have a crazy puzzle box, uh, which I could actually use this, I think, in the future. Anyways, thank you very much, Rob. You've given us a treasure trove of games and very nice letters, um, which, again, we'll be rereading, or I will be reading on the channel. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying these games out. But thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Next up is a package from, looks like Japan. Oh shit. Someone sent in a Trafalgar Law figure. That's awesome. Thank you so much. The box says it's from Hitoshi. If that's you, uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now, first of all, this is a huge figure. Like, this is really nice. And what I love is you can give him an onigiri. You can have him just eating an onigiri, which is hilarious. Or you can just have him chilling out, holding the sword. Uh, I'll probably give him the onigiri, but this is a really nice figure. Thank you very much. Uh, if it's you, Hitoshi, who sent this, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Trafalgar Law is awesome. This next box is from Bezier Games, which uh, they make good board games. Dear Sungwon Cho, thank you so much for your great review of One Night Ultimate Werewolf. We are thrilled that you enjoy playing and hunting down the werewolves. As a token of our appreciation, we wanted to send you our team favorites. Werewords Deluxe and recently released One Night Ultimate Supervillains. Happy hunting, your friends from Busy Air Games. Thank you so much! I've heard of Werewords and it sounds really fun. Uh, it's like a 20 questions, but there's a traitor, which is a hilarious idea. I'm very excited to try this. This sounds really cool. And then uh, I love One Night Ultimate Werewolf, so One Night Ultimate Supervillains. Um, wow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, I'm a big fan of your games in general, so I appreciate the gifts. Here's a box from Luke from California. Hello, ProZD. Enclosed are some gifts and swag from the production team of the miniseries To Kawaii for Comfort. Your videos are amazing. You show such a love and understanding of the internet and the culture that formed through the web and anime con culture. Uh, our show, To Kawaii for Comfort, is a love letter to that culture from a broken heart. It's about a bad trip to an anime convention that once you think you have it figured out, ratchets up, ratchets up the tension to a whole new level. We really hope you check it out because I think you have never seen anything like it. Although it may seem like a satire at first, if you stick with it, you'll see we are trying to say something very raw and sincere with this. This is legit a show about weebs that people love and has brought them to tears. You also probably laugh because there are parts of it that are really funny. Thank you for reading. Good luck and all the best. Luke Palmer. Cool, all right. We've included a box of Pocky, keychain. There's also some kind of treasure box inside with a riddle, I'll have to figure that out on my own. And a bag. All right, well, thanks very much, you guys. Uh, if you wanna check out their series, it's called Too Kawaii for Comfort. But thank you. All right, here's a package from uh, Noemi from Vancouver. Dear Sung One, Alex and Anne Marie. Well, I've had this box sitting in my house since March waiting to be mailed, so I guess I'd better ship it since so it's no longer blocking my filing cabinet. I've sent in a copy of Mainframe, my favorite board game in the Android series. Sorry, Netrunner fans. I don't know if you've played it yet, but I won this near mint copy in an auction for 10 bucks, so I figured I'd send it your way. It's an area control game with a twist, and I love it more than any game on this green earth, except maybe Quadropolis, but that's a Days of Wonder game, and I don't have $100 to drop on sending a relative stranger a gift. No offense, you're very you're very cool, but I need to eat. Sungwon, we've actually met before at Anime Revolution in Vancouver. You told us, me and my fiancé, maybe husband by the time you read this, that you tried Japid Dog and loved it. Yeah, Japid Dog is great. Um, have you got, have you brought Anne-Marie to the one in LA yet? You must share the Japadog experience. I should, I don't know where that is. Okay, this is for Alex, so I'll read, I'll let him read that when we read this on the channel. Off topic, did you guys ever watch Terrace House opening new doors? Uh, I have not yet, but I want to. What are your thoughts other than the fact that Tsubasa is the best housemate in history? Oh, while well, looking forward to that. Maybe I'm biased because I'm Canadian and she's the hockey girl, but she's obviously the best one, right? We'll see. I feel like this letter is rambling, but I love to ask Anne-Marie some questions about Lolita fashion. All right, I will leave these for her when we read it on the channel. Okay, I have to cut myself for now. Thank you for many years of great content and for being cool, non-toxic, principled people on the internet. You guys rule. Come up to Vancouver and visit sometime. Sungwon should definitely come up for Shucks, the best board game convention, best board gaming convention out there. Yeah, I have heard very good things about um, SHUX. Thanks for being the best. Sincerely, Noemi. Uh, Noemi. Yeah, like Doremi. Noemi. Adam says hi too, he's a fan. And that's Noemi Pom on Twitter. N N O E M I P O M on Twitter. Thank you very much, Noemi. Uh, Android Mainframe. I've actually not heard. I know a Netrunner and I know of Android, but I've never heard of Mainframe, but that sounds cool. I'll, we'll have to check this out for sure. Uh, thank you very much for sending a board game. I really appreciate it. Um, otherwise, uh, 
thanks for the nice letter, and uh, I'll let Alex and Anne Marie read and answer the questions for them uh, in the PO Box video on the on Press Buttons and Talks channel. But thank you very much. Finally, here's a big box. This is from uh, Tommy from Georgia. And it's addressed to me and PBNT. Oh, shit! Sung Wan, Alex, and Anne Marie. Thank you so much for the enjoyment you bring us all with your crazy antics while playing games. Since I discovered PBNT, I've enjoyed watching and listening to you guys exploring a variety of topics in humorous ways with humorous voices. Uh, honestly, 2019 has brought some tough times, but even at my lowest, your brand of humor never failed to cheer me up and get me laughing. Uh, I don't have any games to pass along this time, however, I made cool gifts. At least I hope you think they're cool. I had to build the pattern from scratch, but with Paper Mario falling in the top five games for both Alex and someone, I thought you would enjoy. Oh, okay, let's see. Whoa, no way. No way, that's fucking awesome. It's a bomb. it's a bombette. That is so cool. What's in the other one? Oh shit, two bombettes. Yo, these are fantastic. Uh, I, I can't wait for Alex to see this uh, when I show it to him. Sincere apologies that I didn't get anything made for Anne Marie yet. But to make up for it, I did send snacks based on the chip episode of Pro Plus Pals. I really hope you enjoy, and this offering helps fuel more fun games in the future. I also included a more regional one of my favorites that I hope is new to you and you enjoy. Sincerely, Tommy at, at Tomcat Vickers. And hey, I just saw you at uh, Momocon, I believe. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, P.S. I would be happy to send you fun knit goodies like a hat or etc. If you just give a shout of something you might like. Oh, well, honestly, these are like already amazing. So thank you so much for these. Uh, yeah. I'll definitely be showing, I will definitely be opening these up on the uh, Press Buttons and Talk channel as well. And inside the box, Tommy sent just chips like Utz, uh, Ripple Sour Cream and Onion, which is my, one of my favorite chips of all time. Uh, they sent two bags of that. Ruffles Cheddar and Sour Cream, my favorite chip of all time. You got your Cape Cod Sea Salt and Vinegar Chips. I believe this is Alex's favorite. And then I've heard of these, but I've not had these. These are Zaps, uh, New, or New Orleans Kettle Style Voodoo. Uh, I've heard about these, I'm excited to try these, but man, when I saw a big box of chips, I was like, oh my god, this is the best. Coupled with the bombettes, I mean, this is fantastic. Thank you so much, Tommy. Uh, really, really appreciate it, and they're gonna get a kick out of uh, these gifts as well. Alright, that was all the P.O. Box mail for this month. Thank you so much to all of you uh, for your very kind letters and gifts. I'm always happy to hear from you, and I'm always glad, you know, if you're having a hard time or you know feeling down and if my videos can help you out in any way i'm really happy to hear that anyways if you want to send your own letters or some cool shit my p.o box address is in the description below otherwise i will see you in the next one bye bye